Shanti. आज प्यारे बाबा वाणी में ब्राह्मण बच्चों की बहुत मेहमा कर रहे हैं टुडे बाबा हैज प्रेस्ड ब्राह्मण चिल्ड्रन अ ग्रेट डील इन द मॉर्निंग बच्चों को विशेष याद प्यार दे रहे हैं बाबा इज गिविंग लव एंड रिमेंबरेंस ब्राह्मण कहा जाता है व्हेन it is called to be brahman then we all consider that i am a brahman to whom baba is giving love and remembrances once baba has spoken in the murli the definition of brahman baba says Brahman is he whose words, whose actions, his thoughts, hearing, and to become the embodiment will be equal, and he is known as Brahman. We can ask ourselves. as to to what extent have kyunki hum sab jante hain we inculcated those qualifications of being a brahman whatever we speak we do we all know that we have to do what we have to speak but the pasan scars are so strong that in spite of having the determination the old sun scars would forces into action although we again have the determination that oh i committed a mistake now but i wouldn't do it next time but still it happens <coughs> so if you have to be a very strong brahman till we don't get liberation from the past sins that we have committed we can't become a real true brahman because if thinking speaking acting and being becomes the same only then you are the true brahman so always baba says that have balance of knowledge in yoga jab dono ka balance hoga when we have balance jeevan mein bliss ka in both then we experience bliss and also experience the spiritual blessings in the life because we experience happiness that we are doing what baba tell us baba ne saar mein yahi sunaya meeche bachche the sense of the murli devtaon se bhi uttam kalyan kari janm tum brahman sweet children the birth of you brahmans is even more elevated and beneficial than that of the deities because only you brahmans become the father's helpers prashn hai aaj ki question what do your children help baba at this time <coughs> what price does baba give to his helper children he is almighty authority his supreme father supreme soul what sort of help can you do we make our life we create our fortune but baba says it's his help so think about the answer 
What sort of help do we give to Baba? And what price do Baba give to those who help him? Have you thought about the answer? The answer? Baba is establishing the kingdom of purity and peace. And we are helping him with purity. The purity that we maintain helps God. <coughs> we are looking after the sacrificial fire that the Baba has created. So Baba would definitely give us a prize. What prize? It's only at the confluence age that we receive a very big prize. We now become Trikal Darshi, the knower of three aspects of time, the beginning, the middle and the end. In the future, we are equal to Baba Trikal Darshi and in future what would you become? In future, we become seated on a throne. This is the prize. The song. As the father, mother, support, lord and friend, you are the protector for everyone. Om Shanti, whose praise is this? Whose praise is this? Many times Baba used to ask this question and Baba, children used to say it is the praise of Shiv Baba and Baba used to say just Shiv Baba's praise. Children should say this is the praise of the bestower of happiness. When the same song is played, Baba asks, whose praise is this? Then children say it is the praise of the best tour of happiness. Then Baba is to say, this is the ocean of power, ocean of happiness. So we should, we should have that in the mind as to whose he is, whose praise it is. So today Baba is saying, this is the praise of the supremely beloved Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, whose name is Shiva. His name is highest of all and his place is the resident and also the highest of all. <coughs> the meaning of the Supreme Father, Supreme Soul is also highest. He is the highest soul of all. No one else can be called the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. His praise is unlimited. It is that there, are, there is so much praise of him that you cannot reach his end. Even in on the path of Devotion people say that his praises are so much that we can't reach the end. And they also say that you make the earth paper and make the forest into pen and write, make the ocean into ink and write his praises. It's still endless. Baba says, even the rishis and munis used to say, that he cannot reach his end. They have been saying, we don't know. We don't know, we don't know, we do not know. They say neti means this is not the end. There is still more to know. Now Baba himself ca has come and gives his own introduction. Why? Why does he introduce himself? 
बाबा का परिचय तो होना चाहिए दे शुड बी बाबाज इंट्रोडक्शन कहते चले जाए मेहमा प्रम अपार है His praises are limitless, but we say we can't reach his end. Then we don't know him. Then how do we know him? Baba says we should know Baba's introduction. So how can children receive his introduction? Not until he comes onto this earth can anyone give his introduction. No creation can give the introduction of the Creator. People continue to say that His praises are limitless, but people do not know who He is. When Father shows Son, Son shows Father. First, the Father shows the Son, children. And then the children understand the father and show to the world. Baba explains, My part is fixed too. I alone have to come and make the impure ones pure. Sages, holy men continue to sing. No matter how big the saint or sage is, no matter how great the holy man, but still they continue to sing. What do they sing? The purifier is Rama who belong to Sita who come. Because this is the kingdom of Ravan. Ravan is no less. Ravan is also almighty. He wages a war against God. Who made the whole world Tamapradhan and impure? It's Ravan. Then, who is the one who purifies? Who purifies? Yeah? Don't say just Shiv Baba. Who is he? Use some good terms. Baba told who makes you impure. He's Ravan, he's no less. He makes everyone, the whole world, Tamapradhan and impure. And who is the one who purifies? Baba says, then the powerful Rama comes and makes it pure. For half a cycle, there is the kingdom of Rama, and for the half a cycle, the kingdom of Ravan continues. No one knows what Ravan is. They continue to burn his effigy every year. In spite of that, the kingdom of Ravan still continues. <coughs> No matter how much we burn him, but he continues to rule his kingdom. He doesn't get burned. He wouldn't just burn, just making his effigy. People say that if God is powerful, why does he allow Ravan to rule? If God is powerful, then why did God allow Ravan to rule the kingdom? People ask this question many times. Baba explains. <coughs> Baba says, this is the play of victory and defeat of hell and heaven. The whole play is based on Bharat. This drama is predestined. It isn't that because Supreme Father is Almighty Authority, he would come before the end of the play or that he could 
stop play halfway through baba says i come when the whole world becomes impure only then i come because many people ask this question why god is just sitting up above when people become impure he should have come at that time and purify but you can understand if someone is very happy in the life and very prosperous in his life and you just go and tell him that god the bestowed of happiness has come then he would say we don't want god because we are already happy until all the souls become completely pure i mean impure the god wouldn't come and when they start experiencing sorrow when they are impure it's only then god comes and this is why people celebrate shivratri they also say they also say salutations to shiva <coughs> They say salutations to the deities Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. However, they would say to Shiva, salutations to Supreme Soul. Is Shiva like this? They have shown in the temple of Babul Nath or Somnath. Is he like that? When we call upon God, and when they say salutations to shiva you should ask them how is shiva jo babulnath ya somnath is he like that which is shown in the temple of babulnath or somnath does he come down to purify ask them and give them the right introduction kya paramita parmatma ka itna bada roop hai baba says that the supreme father supreme soul has such a large form or is it that souls have a tiny form and the father has a large form how is he question aayega <coughs> there would be this question jaise yahan choto ko just as here a small one is called a child and siriya is called a father waise param pita par is it that in the same way the supreme father supreme soul is bigger and we souls are smaller So this is a question. So Baba bachchon ko bata rahe hain. Baba says, "Ki pehchaan nahi, unko meri puri pehchaan de." Those who don't have the introduction of father, give them the complete introduction. Because people think that child is always small and father is always large. Aur big. Aur aatma hai to unka swarup chhota hoga. Wo swarup se hi chhota aur bada. they always think that small and big is only in the form but papa says no papa explains children you sing my praise kehte ho you say ki parmatma ki mehma that the praise of the supreme soul is unlimited no one can reach the end people in the on the path of devotion say this He is the seed of the human world tree. Therefore, the father would be called the seed, wouldn't he? Because he's the creator. <coughs> All the rest, the Vedas, the Upanishad, the Gita, the sacrificial fires, the tapasya, the devotion, and charity, etc. all ah the paraphernalia of devotion ya jo bhi prakar ki pratimaon ki mandiron mein sthapna kar de whatever the images they have in the temples they all belong to the path of devotion they have their own time apne time par ye sab cheeze 
as per the time all these images Baba says there is half the cycle for devotion and half the cycle for knowledge devotion is the night of Brahma and knowledge is the day of Brahma Shiv Baba explains to you all these aspects Baba explaining to us he doesn't have body of his own he says what does he say he does not have his own body he take he takes the body and he explains and he says I once again teach you Raja Yoga. I once again teach you Raja Yoga <coughs> in order to give you your fortune of your kingdom. So I've come to teach you Raja Yoga. The night of Brahma is coming to an end. That same time of defamation of religion has now come. Whom do they defame the most? The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul Shiva. It's written, whenever there is extreme irreligiousness, I come. I come to establish righteous religion. It isn't that I gave knowledge in Sanskrit in the previous cycle? No, it isn't like that. It is the same language. Because Baba don't have his own language. He uses the language that he enters, the body that he enters, so he don't have language of his own. When there is defamation in Bharat of the one who establishes the deity religion, when they put me into pebbles and stones, then I come. Baba says, they have defamed so much the one who makes Bharat into heaven and impure ones pure. You children know. In everything, Baba says, that you children know. Because Baba has made his children so worthy, he has given so much of understanding that he speaks to his children with so much confidence that you children know everything. You children know that Bharat is the oldest land of all and that is never destroyed. There is just the transformation but never destroyed. The kingdom of Lakshmi Narayan also exists here in the, in the golden age. It was the creator of heaven who gave them this kingdom. Now that the same Bharat is impure, which was heaven, and this is why I have come once again. And this is why they sing his praises. Salutations to Shiva. In this unlimited drama, the part of every soul is fixed. We can't say that he is wrong. According to drama, he is right. He may be wrong according to our understanding, but according to drama, he is wrong. Don't be ever upset or distressed by looking at someone else's role. You can 
always give them the advice to if you you can do this instead of this if he accepts and does it's fine in spite of understanding he doesn't do so it's his role you just become detached observer and make this practice of being detached observer very firm baba says everyone's part is fixed in the drama and it continues to repeat some takes a small part from it and makes a limited drama the whole in the whole world there is drama someone is coming someone is just going someone is listening with great alertness someone is just closing his eyes and just sitting so it's all fixed in the drama these are all different scenes in front of me and someone just talk among themselves and someone smile at each other so there are different scenes here so that's just the limited drama small drama but in the whole world there is unlimited drama there is variety roles parts therefore if we have the practice to look at everything as a detached observer our stage will not be upset <coughs> sorry baba says we are now brahmans and will then become deities this is god's clan this is the end of your 84th birth at this time you have knowledge of all the four clans this is such an elevated birth a brahman birth where you have the knowledge of all the four clans you wouldn't have this knowledge in golden age and this is why brahman clan is the highest to fall however it is the deities who are praised and worshiped brahma ka mandir bhi hai there's also temple of brahma pranto koi ko pata nahi ki isme parmatma aakar there's also temple for brahma but no one knows that god comes in his in this one and makes bharat into heaven No one knows as to who made Bharat into heaven. Baba says, since, since establishment is taking place, destruction must also take place. And this is why it is said, the flames of destruction emerges from the sacrificial fire of knowledge of Rudra. When Shiv Baba the Rudra comes and establishes the sacrificial fire, then the establishment takes place. So there is very close connection. Now Baba says that same father, who is that father? The Rudra, the father, the same father, now explains to you children, sweet children, listen carefully. We all know ba- Baba is revising the things. Sweet children, this is now your final birth. I have come once again to give you your inheritance of heaven. It is your right. But you definitely have your right but who would claim the right unko main swarg ki prize dunga baba says it is your right but i will give you the prize of heaven to those who follow my shrimat this is the condition those who follow my shrimat will claim the right to the heaven 
others to receive a peace prize etc but baba gives all of you the prize of heaven those just give advices for peace they would get the peace award peace prize but those who establishes in reality the heaven baba gives them the prize of heaven he says <coughs> I do not take it. I don't take the prize. I inspire establishment to take place through you. And so I I would give it to you. You are the grandchildren of Shiv Baba and children of Brahma. Only Prajapita Brahma would adopt so many children. <coughs> This Brahman birth is your highest birth and this is the benevolent birth because it is in this birth that we find and belong to the benefactor. So this is your benevolent birth. The births of deities and shudras are not benevolent. So many take birth. However, the deity's birth and Shudra's birth are not benevolent. It is only the Brahman birth and the Brahman clown which is benevolent. This is your most benevolent birth. Why? Baba, every time asks question and also he answers it's not that he just says it's benevolent and just leaves it. He says, because you become the father's helper and establish peace and purity in the world. Those people who give prizes do not know this. They don't know who is the one who establishes peace. They only give the suggestions to the pre peace. <coughs> <coughs> Baba says they give them to an American etc. They give the prize to the American etc. Baba says I give a prize to those who become my helpers. To whom I give the prize? Those who become my helpers. When there is purity, in the world, there is also peace and prosperity. This is brothel. The golden age is Shivale, the temple. Where there is wise is its brothel. <coughs> and where there is the God's establishment, it's the temple of Shiva. Shiv Baba established it. Sages and sannyasis, ahat yogis. They cannot teach Raja Yoga to those who follow the household religion. <coughs> those who let go of their own family and household into the jungle, into the forest, they can't teach Raja Yoga to those who follow the household religion. Even if they were to read Gita and Mahabharata a thousand times, this one is everyone's Baba. He says to those of all religions, what does he say? Connect your intellects, yoga, to me alone. Baba says this to all people of all religions. <coughs> <clears throat> I too am a tiny point. I am not that big. As is the soul, so is the Supreme Soul. The soul resides here in the center of the forehead. If it were so big, how could it reside in the center of the forehead? 
So if it would have been big, then it would emerge out like a tumor from the forehead. Baba says, I am like a soul. It is just that I am beyond the birth and death. You can't say that he is the one who takes, who doesn't take birth. So you should always use the word is beyond the death and birth because people think if he hasn't taken birth then he would at least die. I am ever pure. What's the difference between the souls and the supreme? The first is that is beyond the death and birth cycle. I am ever pure, whereas all the rest of the souls come into the birth and death cycle. They become impure from pure and pure to impure. What did Baba do to make impure ones pure? Baba says, once again, Baba has created the sacrificial fire of Rudra to make impure ones pure. Then what happens after this? I'm not asking questions because of the time restriction. I'm sure you're listening with uh, int great. Yeah, please, uh, can, you, can you indicate? Those who have closed your eyes and dozing away, please open your eyes. In order to listen, it's very essential to open eyes. I am talking to you, and someone is standing between both of us. How bad you feel. We both are talking, and third person comes in between. We are listening through ears. <coughs> Together with the, together with listening three years, you also see the expressions of the one who is speaking. So when someone, third person is standing in, in between to speaking, you always would like that person to go away in between. Many think that Closing your eyes and listen, you would able to concentrate better, better, but it isn't that. No matter whoever is speaking, it is not my language anyway. When God is speaking and uh, the one who is listening is closing, so the one who is speaking wouldn't enjoy. When someone is dancing and someone in the front the audience are closing their eyes, so how would the dancing girl would enjoy dancing? When someone is dancing and in front the audience also just wave and when they just nod and give a nod and the one who dances will enjoy. <coughs> when Sakar Baba is to sit, Some, some Baba used to always say Baba would like to make some children sit in front of Baba because that children, those children would understand Baba and give a nod and you know express that they are understanding so Baba would enjoy speaking to children. <coughs> but ba Baba cannot do that. Baba cannot ask children, you go behind and the, the, the one who is behind come in the front. When we are listening to Morley, we should have always this experience that Shiv Baba is speaking to me, to me in person. It's not that it's something in general. So listen with great interest, with your open eyes, with great love, please. So I'm ever pure. Of 
and rest all come in the cycle of death and birth. But now Baba says, Baba <coughs> has once again created the sacrificial fire of Rudra to make him pure once pure. After this, there wouldn't be any sacrificial fire in the golden age. So just not yet, no. So you just listen. But you should experience that happiness. You just listen with no expressions. You just give a nod, give a nod, yeah. <laughs> when Baba says no, just say no. From the, then from the Copper Age, they will continue to create many types of sacrificial fire. This sacrificial fire of Rudra is only created <coughs> once in the whole cycle, just once. The offerings of everyone is put into it. Then, no other sacrificial fire would be created. Sacrificial fires are created. When would they create? When there are calamities. When there's no rain. Or there is any other calamity. Then they create a sacrificial fire. There are no calamities in the Golden Age and Silver Age. At this time, there are many types of calamities. This is why. So this is why, what can you answer? There are many types of calamities, a new calamity every time. Even before one problem is solved, there would be two other problems emerges. Now Baba says, At, and this is why the greatest merchant, Shiv Baba, has had the sacrificial fire created. Because everyone cannot create sacrificial fire. <coughs> Even in the path of devotion, they have to sp spend a great deal to, to create the sacrificial fire. No ordinary person can do this. So he grants you vision in advance of how all the offerings will be put into the fire and how destruction is to take place and how old world is to become a graveyard. Together with creating the sacrificial fire, Baba's also <coughs> giving a very clear, vivid picture of the destruction. <coughs> so then why should you attach your heart to this old world? This is why you children have unlimited renunciation of the old world. Those sannyasis simply renounce their home and family. You shouldn't renounce your home and family. Whilst looking after your home and family, you have to break your attachment to them. Don't let go your family and home, but break your attachment to them. <coughs> All of them are already dead. Why should you attach your heart to them? This is the world of corpse. You no one knows that they are souls. They all have died alive. So this is the world of corpse. This is why it is said, remember the land of angels. Why would you remember the graveyard? Baba has become an agent and connects your intellect's yoga to him. They say, souls and supreme soul remain separated for a long time. <coughs> 
and there would be a beautiful meeting when the agent, the middleman, comes. So this praise also belongs to him. Iron aged gurus cannot be called the purifier. They cannot grant salvations. Yes, they can relate scriptures and perform rituals. Shiv Baba doesn't have a teacher or a guru. <coughs> Baba says, I have come to give you inheritance of heaven. Then, you become the part of the Sun Dynasty or become the part of the Moon Dynasty. How do you become that? Is it through war? No. Neither Lakshminarayan nor Ram Sita claim the kingdom through war. <coughs> In the Confluence Sage, they battled with Maya. You are incognito warriors. This is why no one knows you the Shakti army. You become the masters of the whole world with the power of yoga. <coughs> you lost the kingdom of the world and you are now claiming it back once again. Those who lost are claiming the kingdom once again. It's the father who gives you the prize. <coughs> Those who now become the father's helpers are the ones who will those who become Baba's helpers are the ones who will receive the price of peace and prosperity for the half cycle. Baba calls helpers. Now who are the helpers? First is the help of the purity. Baba calls helpers those who remain bodiless and remain and remember the father and who spins the discourse of self-realization. And who remembers the land of peace, their sweet home, their sweet kingdom, and become pure. It's so easy to become helper. It's so easy. I, the soul, am a star. My father, the supreme soul, is also a star. He's not as big as that. But how can the star be worshipped? Therefore, so that they can worship, they have made him so large so that they can worship him. <coughs> so it is the Baba who is worshipped first and then later others are worshipped. Lakshmi Narayana worshipped so much. However, who was it who made them like that? <coughs> the bestower of salvation for all is the one Father. The greatness is of that one. His birth ray, his worth diamonds. And the birth rays of the rest are all worth shells. Salutations to Shiva. This is a sacrificial fire. It has been created through you Brahmins. He says, 
ब्राह्मणों द्वारा रचवाया है वो ब्राह्मणों को क्या बताते हैं What does Baba says to those Brahmins? Purity, peace, स्थापित करने में मदद करेंगे। He says, उनको इतना फल दो। I give the I give this much um this much fruit to those who help me to establish purity and peace. He has had this sacrificial fire created through you Brahmins, and so he will definitely give you arms. On the path of devotion, when anything is done through Brahmins, they would always give alms, either they give um, the clothes or money or anything. So Baba says, <coughs> I got the sacrificial fire created through you Brahmins, so I would give you, definitely give the alms. So Baba says, he has created such a big sacrificial fire, no other sacrificial fire continues for this long. He says, for however long someone helps me, I will give them a prize accordingly. I am the one who gives everyone a prize. I do not take anything. I give you everything. Now, those who do something will receive that in return of it. If you do little, you will end up among subjects. So Baba also clarifying this. Those who helped Gandhiji, then at that time when he was in need, whether they helped half or full or whoever helped him, they become president or a minister, etc. at that time. This is happiness for a temporary time. Baba gives you all the knowledge of the beginning, the middle and the end and makes you three Kaldarshi the same as he is. He says, what does he say? By knowing my biography, you will come to know everything. Sannyasis cannot give this knowledge. What inheritance would you receive from them? What would they give after all? They would give a throne to only one. <coughs> after, their, after their death, they would only give their gadi, the throne, to just one. Not everyone would receive. So what would the rest of them receive? Baba gives all of you a throne, just not to one. He does such altruistic service. He wouldn't have any, any desire. He would give everything to children. So he's such an altruistic server. And yet, you have put me into pebbles and stones and defamed me so much. This is drama, predestined. I give you so much, but yet you defame me. This drama is predestined. When you become like shells, then I make you into diamonds. Still he is such a compassionate. He still makes us diamonds. Baba says, I have made Bharat into heaven countless times. And then Maya turned it into hell. If you now want to attain, just note this. If you want any attainment, then become Baba's true helpers and claim the real prize. It is purity first in this. Baba also praises sannyasis. They too are good because they remain pure. They support Bharat and prevent it from um, being 
degraded. There is no telling what would happen. Otherwise, if the sannyasis wouldn't become pure, what would, what would be the condition of the Bharat? However, Bharat is now to be made into heaven, and so you definitely have to leave at home with your family and remain pure. Both Baba and Dada explains to your children. Shri Baba also gives your children advice through this old shoe. He cannot take a new one. He only takes old body. He cannot take a new body. He doesn't enter mother's womb. He enters the impure world into an impure body. This is, this is why the Iron Age is known as extreme darkness. There's extreme darkness. So he has, he has to make extreme darkness into total light. <coughs> that is extreme darkness. Those who are right are blamed and those who are wrong are praised. And those who are really not good, they are called to be a very good person. So this is darkness, extreme darkness. So he has to make extreme darkness into total light. Acha. Baba has to make it. He just left the sentence incomplete for you to understand that it has to be the darkness has to be totally removed. So it is only Baba who makes it, but those who help him in making this would claim the prize. Achha? Mite mite sikila de bachom prati mat pita bab tada kayat pyaran good morning ruhani bab ke ruhani bachom ko namaste ruhani bachom ki ruhani bab ko namaste please all of you tell ruhani bachom ki ruhani bab ko namaste <coughs> the main points The first point, <coughs> remove this unlimited world from your heart and break your attachments. Don't attach your heart to it. Don't attach your heart to it. Second, become Baba's helpers and claim a prize. In order to become Baba's helpers and claim a prize, number one, remain bodiless, number two, become pure. Number three, spin the discourse of self-realization. Number four, remember your sweet home and your sweet kingdom. Four things. Blessings. May you become a master almighty authority and stabilize your intellect in an elevated stage according to the directions you receive. May you, be, may you become a master almighty authority and stabilize your intellect in an elevated stage according to the directions you receive. When some children sit in yoga, 
They, they remember service instead of being soul conscious. However, it shouldn't be like that. Because if in the final moments, instead of becoming bodiless, you have thoughts of service, <coughs> many of them during study also they would plan we wouldn't think what we are doing but they would think something else while doing something else this is also one of the biggest forms of Maya <coughs> so in the final moments instead of becoming bodiless you have thoughts of service you will fail in the paper of a second at that time <coughs> At that time, you must only remember the father, the incorporeal, <coughs> the one who has controlling and ruling powers. Slogan. <coughs> easy way to overcome any adverse situation is one strength and one support. One strength and one support. Om Shanti.